Hello, and welcome to the Bartender Video Tutorials. In this video, we will look at three different ways to set the print quantity for your bartender document, choosing a static number from the print dialog, prompting for a quantity input using a data entry form, and pulling the value from a database field. Here we have an address label that we want to print multiple copies of. You can see that we have three different address labels in this document. We want to print two copies of each label. The standard way to do this is to open the File menu and select Print. This opens the Print dialog. To print two copies of each label, we simply set the Copies field to 2. If we look at the Print preview, you can see that we now have two copies of each label. If your document uses a data entry form, you might want to allow the user to enter the quantity on that form. Let's look at how to do that. When we open the Data Entry Form tab at the bottom of the design template, we now have a blank template for our data entry form. All we need to do is add a text input box to the data entry form and add a data source to it. In this case, the number we want to input into the box is the number of copies we want to print, so we simply drag the copies data source onto the text input box and drop it there. Now when we go to the print dialog, you can see that the copies field is grayed out and we can no longer input anything into the field. The field tells us that the input is now set by the data source. When we preview this document, the print wizard presents us with the data entry form we just created. Let's set the number to 3 and click Preview. Now we have three copies of each label because we sent the quantity at print time through our data entry form. If your document is reading data from a database, the database itself may contain the quantity of each record to print. Let's look at how to read the quantity from a database field. This method requires an external database that contains a field designating the print quantity for each record in the database. You can see from our spreadsheet that the print quantity value is different for each record. In this case, we want two copies of the label for John Smith, but only one copy of the label for Alice Jones, and three copies for Roger White. By using an external database to determine the print quantity, we can now set different quantity values for each record. To set the print quantity using the print quantity field in our external database, we have to tell Bartender where to look for that information. If we click the icon to the right of the copies field in the print dialog, we can select from different options. The second option allows us to get the quantity value from a database field. Now we find the database field we want to use from the database field drop down menu. Here it is print quantity. We select it and click OK. Now when we preview, we can see that the number of copies for each label corresponds to what we designated in our spreadsheet. Two for John Smith, one for Alice Jones, and three for Roger White. To quickly recap, in this video we looked at three different ways to set the print quantity for your document. Choosing a static number from the print dialog, prompting for a quantity input using a data entry form, and pulling the value from a database field. If you still have questions about this process, consult the Bartender Help System or check out our other videos. Thank you for watching.